Simon? What is it that you think I should hear? Nothing, darling, nothing. It, drivel. <laughs> Mr. Fraser here is determined to be the center of attention, whatever the occasion. Why don't you let Simon speak? You wouldn't come to Holden and Luke's memorial service just to upset me, would you? Never. No. No. Well, there must be some important reason why you're here, then. What is it? If Barbara's in trouble, you have got to tell me. Now, the reason she went to go meet Jack, it's about Montgomery, isn't it? I don't it? know. I suppose it could be. Carly, Craig knows that she's about to nail him, doesn't no, she? No, I didn't say that. Will you listen to me? Montgomery was here. He and Barbara had an argument, and then she set up this meeting with Jack, and now Montgomery is suddenly gone. Now, if he has got a reason to go after Barbara, you have got to tell Would me. Would you keep it down, please? I'm not exactly the most popular person in this crowd. I'd like to keep a low... Carly! Oh, fine! Craig came to my place. He said Barbara was threatening to ruin his life or something. Finally. Well, I knew she'd come around sooner or later. She'd find something. She must have found some concrete evidence or well, something. Whatever she found, it ticked her off enough for her to tell him they were through. Oh, man, Montgomery must have gone ballistic. No. No, he seemed more resigned than anything else. Oh, yeah? You sure about that? If Craig's so bloody resigned, then why is Barbara so nervous? And why this meeting with Jack? Because she wanted to see a cop. She couldn't see Margot. That's Craig's sister, right? It makes sense she would trust Jack. She should have come to me. I can think of a thousand reasons she wouldn't want to do that, I Al. told her this morning she could come to me any time. Of course, I don't blame her for not taking me at my word anymore. Oh, I hate this. She's in trouble. If Montgomery knows that she can put him in jail, he's going to try and stop her. He probably went after her when she left here. I've got to try to follow her. This boathouse where she went to meet Jack, do you know where it is? Yeah. I'll be right back. I'm going to tell Jennifer I can't stay for the service. Carly. Hey. Hi. Oh, I'm worried about you. Mm. How did it go with Julia? Oh, she is so far gone around the bend this time. There's no helping her. She really flipped out. It was kind of scary. When I left, she was screaming about how she's going to make us pay for everything we've done to her. Well, then I guess we're lucky she's locked up, right? She is still locked up, no, isn't she? Believe me, she's not going anywhere for a long, long time. Listen, I got to run. I saw Lily outside, and I told her I might have to miss part of the service. I got to go meet Barbara. Really? What is that about? Police business. OK. Forget I asked. I'll try to make it quick. Okay, and I'm not going to be too far away. I'm going to meet Barbara at the old boathouse.
Knows what kind of creepy crawlies are in this place. sudden interest in how Munson is getting a little intense. Stop it. It's none of your business. Other, other people's business is my business. Something is going on, and I'm going to find out what it is. Oh, you are not going to eavesdrop. This is not the place. Stand back and watch. Now, are you sure this is wise? Craig still has that restraining order against you. I'm going to look for Barbara, not for Craig. Wait, Dad, you don't mean that you're leaving the service before it even starts. This is very important, honey. Now, I've asked Aunt Kim to take care of Will for the night. Do you need a ride? Mm -hmm. I'll make sure she gets home, if that's okay with you. Sure, thanks. Listen, promise me you'll let me know when you reach Barbara, okay? I will, Kim, I will. Honey, you understand why I have to do this? Yeah, you're a good guy, Dad. Even if Mom is a lost cause. Look, <laughs> there's a lot going on. Barbara seems worried. I just want to make sure everything's okay. Well, if she's in trouble, she probably deserves it because we all warned her. Well, maybe we got through to her more than it seemed. I'm going to give my regrets to the Snyders, and you have my daughter in your car. I'll get her home safely. You know, maybe your dad's right. I mean, now that your mom has been married to my dad for a while, maybe... I don't know, maybe she's waking up. My mother's never going to see the light about Craig, no matter what he does. You know, I, I think hell is going to take off. Oh, yeah? Why? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But, you know, Jack isn't here either. Yeah, well, he's probably just running late. No, something's up. Thanks, Caleb. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. It's good seeing you. Seeing you. You'll be OK? Yeah. And you'll be careful? <laughs> I will. Don't be so nonchalant about it, OK? I'll see you later. That's a promise. All right, I'm out of here. Hey, oh, you just missed Jack. Why didn't you tell me? Because, because I want to go with you. Forget it. Why? Because you're just going to alienate Barbara and because you'll mess everything up, that's so you why. You don't want to hear what Barbara said about Craig. Jack gave me all the details. I'll ask her myself. Yeah, when you find her. If you take me, I can lead you right to the boathouse. I'd save you some time. All right, let's go. I'm sorry, I can't stay. I've got a little bit of a family emergency. Everything okay? We will be, I hope we okay, will Okay, yeah, it's okay, I understand. Thanks. Good night, good night. Good night. All right, darling, I think we should get back No, inside. I'm not going Emma. anywhere. No, Emma, I want to know why you. Simon's here. I came here be... Lily, I'm here as your friend. That's all. I just wanted you to know that I am here for you. Lily, you ready to come back in? Minister is asking. Yes, just a second. Are you sure that's it? Of course he's sure. He's just said he's sure. We should get back inside, darling, because the minister's waiting for us. is here now, so I guess we're going to get started. Mm-hmm. That's just great. Just great. Hi. Where's Jake going? Um, just went to check something out. You know how Jake is. What the hell 
hell are you doing here? so strong and my eyeballs like waterworks here hey you're a performer right oh, i cannot fan kick my way out of this one i'm sorry but that's how you gotta look at it like you're putting on a show for all of oakdale just hold it together for an hour tops and then you can go home and cry your eyes out if you wanna like i'm glad to. i love you pop oh, i love you too baby okay showtime Lisa's not coming. Can you blame her? Damien's the cause of all this. Okay, okay, we don't know that. Listen, Seth, when you when you get up to talk about um, about Holden, uh, make sure you, you say how much Damien really loved his son. All right. I, I, I will. All rise, please. You showed up here for one reason, one reason to crowd Lily and spill your theory about Damon staging those deaths. Well, I couldn't go through with them, okay? So you got nothing to worry about. Simon, we agreed that we don't have enough facts, at least not enough to go upset the family. Listen, Damien did have the phone numbers of that boat rental place. What for if not to use it? If we had enough cash, we could throw it at him, maybe oh, jog his memory. What are you gonna do? You're gonna hit Lily up for some money? We don't even know that Damien called that guy. The police could find out. They could get the, uh, the, the, the hotel phone so, records. So we'll call the police. Okay, we'll call the police. Listen, I'll, I'll tell them I got the number from a newspaper source. The police will believe it. So listen, we have to agree. We say nothing to the family. I told Lucinda. Why? Because she, she, she'd had more clout with the cops than I do. We are supposed to be working on this thing together. If we need police cooperation, I'll get it. If we need money, I'll supply it. But you don't need to give Lucinda false expectations. Well, there's no chance of that anyway. All right, she didn't believe a word I said. Listen, Jake, seeing Lily hurting like this, all right, it's just, it's tough for me. Look, we better get in there, okay? You can, you can sit with Molly and me. It doesn't, no, it's fine, all right? You go in, I can hear fine out here. You just go in, all right? Simon, we're working on this together. Please be seated. The family has asked me to extend their thanks to all of you for coming. This is a sad time, not just for the Snyder and the Walsh families, but for our entire community. Holden Snyder and his son Luke were so very important to so many people. Instead of a sermon, it is Lily Snyder's request that several of you speak to us today about Luke and Holden. We'll start with uh, Holden's sister, Iva. You know, it just <laughs> seems like yesterday I was chasing Holden around the barn because he stole my diary. <laughs> and then I remember that night I put <laughs> I put shaving cream on his pillow. You know, we always tricked each other and tortured each other. 
But, uh... He was <clears throat> the kind of brother that I would walk through fire for. And he would have, I think he would have done the same for me. And uh, I guess that's why he jumped into that situation. So Luke, the child that he loves so much, wouldn't have to go into it alone. And I think Lily, that everybody here feels your pain. You know, after the year that you two went through and then finally getting together again, you know. And this time it was going to be forever. Stop. Please. We're almost there. There's a blind left and it's just a bit further. How do you know about this place anyway? Well, Jack and I used to... It's just a special place for I us. I get the picture. And nobody uses it much anymore, which is probably why Jack suggested it to Barbara. Why are you so insistent on wanting to come along, anyway? Think you can talk Craig Montgomery out of whatever mess he's got himself into? Craig is not going to be there, Hal. Oh, no? If I figured out where she was headed, Montgomery probably did, too. So why did you want to come along? I'm worried about Jack. Why? just a little spooked, you know? Julia pulling that suicide thing, and, and then Barbara calling, who just happens to be Julia's best friend, and setting up a meeting with Jack at the boathouse, of all places. It just, it feels wrong to me. Yeah, well, I know Barbara isn't your favorite person. And you know it's mutual. The woman hates me. Another reason to think that Julia and Barbara could have set something up, some surprise for Jack. Barbara wouldn't do something like that. <laughs> what are you telling me, that Barbara's above trying to get back at me? No, oh, she's got more pressing things on her mind. Something's been bothering her all day. What do you mean? I stopped by her place earlier. Something was bothering her. She was looking in her desk at a checkbook, a company checkbook. Something was bothering her. She wouldn't tell me what it was. I wish she had. I wish I hadn't become somebody she can't confide in anymore. Maybe then she wouldn't have had to turn to Montgomery. Oh, there's the left. What are you doing here? Were you waiting for me? How did you know that I was coming here? Size directions, and then I want you to stay in the line with them and wait for them right here by the but side the of the room. Jack, help. Carly, Barbara, and Jack could be dying in there. Just do it. Do it. Jack, you gotta get her out of here. No, this I don't want to move her too much. I don't want to move her too much. She banged her head. Hell, I'm not getting a pulse. Oh, God. Oh, don't you die. Don't you die, hon. Oh, Jack, she's not breathing. Start CPR. Start CPR. Take a pulse. Come on, baby. 
not false. I'm starting compressions. All right, come on. Come on. Two, three, four. I appreciate. Uh, thank you for loving Luke and Holden so much. But I can't do this. Honey, I'm, this is very hard. This is very hard for everyone. And of course you don't want to accept it. No, long. it's not that I, I can't. I, I, I won't. I, I'm so lucky. I am. I, I've been loved by the most wonderful man. My, my Holden and... When I close my eyes at night, Mother, I see him, yes. and he's not gone. <laughs> and my, I see him, and I, my son, my, my, my beautiful boy, oh. I can feel his breath on my cheek. I can feel the weight of, of him in my arms, and he's, he's here, and he's real to me. And I, I'll be damned to give up on them with some idea that he might be gone. They may be gone. No, Cal, I'm, so, I'm really Please. sorry. Until someone Please. can prove without a shadow of a doubt that they're gone, and they're not on this earth anymore, and they're not here, and I don't feel them in my heart and my soul, that I'm not going to bury them in my heart or in my thoughts. No, and I will not mourn them. I will absolutely, no, I won't. Lily, darling. Lily. Lily. Charge 360. Charging. Clear. Again. Jack, it feels like they've been doing that forever. Charging. Barbara's hanging on. Clear. At least she hasn't been without oxygen. Hell, we started CPR yeah. right away, and Charge the paramedics got here as fast Charging. as they could. And they got to save her. They will. Clear. Let's start compressions. I gotta get another heavy on board. I gotta talk to her. Hey, hey no, I no, got it. You got it. You got to get. Damn it, Jack! She's my wife. wife. All right, I don't care what the law says, Jack. She really never belonged to him, but she thinks... Jack, I don't want her to think that I've given up on her. Hey, guys, we got the victim's husband here. Can he talk to her? Now is not a good time. Charge 360. Listen, she needs fluids, and I don't like this line. Hand it to me. I'll put the epi down the ET. Listen, if she hears me, it, it, it might help her. If I can just talk. Okay, her, just stay out of the way. Barbara? Honey, I'm here. I'm here with you. I'm right here. Jack. Jack. Hey. 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 Oh. 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 When I saw that explosion, Jack, I thought my life was going to no, end. No, 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 no. I'm okay. I'm okay. You think Barbara's going to make it, Jack? Do you know who did it? I heard him leave. Him? Barbara was talking to someone. I got the feeling she knew him. But you didn't hear a name. When she regains consciousness, she'll be able to tell us who it was. And you think it was Craig? When Barbara said she wanted to meet me here, she thought Craig was stealing the blind. She said she had evidence. Well, God only knows where that is now. First, the first question any investigative team is going to ask is, who would have benefited from Barbara's death? And you and I both know the answer to that one. No. Craig couldn't have done this, Jack. If I had got here done seconds this? earlier, I could have stopped this whole thing. Well, you could be dead right now. Detour to the church. How could he know? How could Craig have known that we were here? And what time? He had to set the explosive up in the rafters. That's the only way he'd make sure to clear the blast. But how, how do you know how to time it out just right? Hey, what if... Who knew you were coming here, Jack? Nobody. Barbara called me when I was at the hospital. And then I went to the church. Well, then how did Craig know? D he must have had a spy at the hospital. I don't know. The only other person who heard me talk about the boathouse was Julia. Got a second, Jack? Yeah, Charlie, I'll be there in a second. Uh, I'm going to be tied up here all night. Yeah. 
Okay, you know, I, I, I should I should go anyway. You think it'd be okay if I used Hal's car? Yeah, yeah, I'll take him to the house. Why, where are you going? Jack, we're kind of in a hurry here. All right, all right, listen, I... He's in. Let's shock again. Charge 360. Charging. Clear. Oh, come on, Barbara. Please, baby. You gotta come back to me. Come on. I know I made some mistakes, big ones, but you gotta fight. And if you fight, I promise you, you won't be alone. I promise you that. So get mad. Come on. Get mad at me. Or get mad at Montgomery. Get mad at me for pushing you so hard that you ended up with him or get mad at him for doing this to you. Don't let him get away with this, Barbara, please. You're the only one that can stop him now. You're the only one that can put our lives back together. The way it's meant to be, Barbara, so... Please. Give me a chance. Give me a chance to be your husband again. Let me prove to you that I can be good at it, because I can. <laughs> Give me a chance to make you happy the way you deserve to be. Claire! She's got a pulse. Let's going to ask you to just bear with us for a little while. Uh, we want to give Lily a few minutes to herself, and then we'll decide whether we want to go on with the service. I don't think you need to just sit in your seats. Relax, and we'll make another announcement when we know what we're going to do. And thank you for your patience. Honey, are you going to be okay? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I'm... Uh, I mean, I thought today that it'd be... I'll be over. I mean, we'd come to the memorial service and finally be able to deal with what's happened. I mean, Holden and the Luke, they'd be gone, but we'd go on. Yeah, I guess we were all expecting that. But Lily's right. I mean, it's hard enough to believe someone's dead when there's a body and a coffin and a gravestone, but just to be told that no one can find them? I mean, it's never really going to be over for us, is it? I mean, not until we find the truth. Maybe you ought to go find Lily and talk to her. Mm, no, no, not a good idea, Pop. No. Why not? The two of you are getting along pretty good now. She'll listen to you. It's not that. Mm. I agree with everything she just said, 100%. What are they still doing in there? Why won't they come out? Perhaps they're hoping you'll go back in. I guess I'll have to go back there eventually, because I forgot my purse. <laughs> and my keys. Oh, making a grand exit. I really have to plan that better next time. Look, Lily. You know, I don't want your sympathy, because I cannot handle sympathy right now. My mother's probably in there making some grand announcement. Please, everyone be seated. Lily will be back in soon, as soon as she comes to her senses. I could drive you home. I have to go back. I'm there. You just said that you I know. Go back I, I don't want to go back. I wanted to just do this for Emma. I wanted her to have closure. I wanted her to feel finality in all of this. I thought I could do it. I thought I could handle it for a little while. I could just accept the fact that they were gone, mourn them, but I cannot accept something that doesn't feel real to me. I know. I know. I have to get out of here. I have to where do you want to go? Where? I have to find Holden and Luke. But I don't know where to start. I don't know what questions to ask, who to ask. Uh, Damien, I have to track down the people that were after Damien, so, uh, Malta, I have to go to Malta. Go to Malta and make yourself a target. Lily, you can't do that. You cannot do that. Well, I can't that. stay here and be the grieving wife and mother. Uh, please, Simon, I'm telling you, I, I know that my baby is, is alive. Because I had him inside of me for nine months, that life that I felt, I feel it now. He's out there somewhere, and the time that I've spent mourning and grieving him, I've wasted so much time, I could have been signing his death warrant. I have to find Luke and Holden. I have to do something. I already have. What? I couldn't just let it go. Especially after Jake told me 
the, 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 the things about the accident were bothering him as well. You and, you and Jake? Yeah, we've been asking some questions. That's what I was trying to tell Lucinda before. What did you find out? We got into Damien's Lakeview room. We found something that the cops might have missed. I don't think Lily's coming back. Well, Mama, what do you want to do about it? Well, there's no need to go on with this for no. my sake. I mean, a few kind words about uh, Holden and, and Luke, it's just not going to make any, any difference. Emma, I, I, I just don't quite know how to proceed. I've never been faced with this circumstance before. Yeah. I'll go find Lily. No, no. I'll go. Thank you, Lucinda. Thank you. We'll wait for you inside. I don't care about playing it safe. I need to know what you found out, Simon. Is she gonna make it? The burns are extensive. Some of them look like third degree. She's in critical condition, but she made it this far. This is all that's left of the envelope that you saw with Barbara at the church. You didn't find anything else, her purse? No, her purse and the contents were completely destroyed, and there's nothing in her car. Well, Montgomery certainly was thorough, wasn't he? What kind of a bomb was it, anyway? The fire inspector said it might have been a Molotov cocktail. Huh. On a timer? What? No. Whoever planned the bomb was still here after the blast. I heard him take off. You saw Montgomery? No, we don't know for sure it was him. Who else, Jack? Barbara walked right into a trap the bastard was waiting for. Her. Reservation. International. Miss Tenney, I'm not even gonna ask why you're here. Just leave. Where is Julia? I want to see her right now! Well, it's long past visiting hours, and you would not be allowed to see Julia under any circumstances. You're much too disruptive. You might as well produce the psychotic little freak, because I am not budging until I'm eyeball to eyeball with her. Then the police will budge you, and I will call them now. You go ahead and you call the police and you tell them to, to, to bring a lot of butterfly nets and some extra straight jackets and, and start padding a permanent cell because after what she's pulled tonight, Julia is gonna be put away for a very long time. Explain or find yourself under arrest. There was a very special place where Jack and I used to meet and somebody planted a bomb there tonight. You're saying Julia? No, I know Julia. Did you happen to know that she threatened Jack tonight? I heard her, but she, I don't know how she would have... She the almost killed him. What happened to Jack? Oh, no, nothing. He was nearly burnt to a crisp and blown to bits. Other than that, he's just fine. Somebody else tripped to the bomb before he got there. And that person could quite possibly die. So where is she? Well, the last time I checked, she was in here waiting to be taken downstairs. Well, she ain't here now. What is with you people? Can't you keep track of your psychopaths or did you just let her sign herself out again for another night of madness and mayhem? Slow down. There's no way Julia could have gone anywhere. She's been under a suicide watch. She tried to kill herself earlier today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you should get some of those white coats to start looking for your missing patient. And while you're at it, why don't you call the police? It might be a good idea to stop her before she tries to kill somebody else. This is Lynn Michaels. Yeah, I'm looking for a patient. Julia's not... Never mind. Oh, 
Hello, Julia. Plant any good bombs lately? Don't complicate things, Ms. Tenney. It's all right, Julia. Carly is leaving momentarily. We just need to ask some questions. Where has Julia been? I took her to change her dressing to make sure she didn't need any stitches, and then I took her to the dining hall. So you've been with her the last couple of hours? The whole time? Oh, yeah. Ever since she freaked out earlier when her husband came, they told me not to take my eyes off of her, so I haven't. Well, I think you owe Julia an apology. Well, what for? I thought there was an explosion tonight. An explosion? But why are you? <gasps> was Jack hurt? No, not Jack. It's Barbara. No. She might die. No, no, no not Barbara. No, no. <laughs> All right, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I won't be bothering you again. This is your case now, not Margot's. It's not my choice to make hell. Margot's in charge now. She'll make the call. It can't be Margot, Jack, and you know why. Because when Barbara wakes up, we both know who she's gonna finger for this. Margot's brother. Craig Montgomery's going down for this. Just book me on the next flight to Hong Kong. Through San Francisco tonight? Well, all right, I'll be there. Thank you. What have I done? I thought you were going to leave well enough alone. Why didn't you tell me what Simon and Jake found out? He found nothing, but heaven forfend that our friend here would let that stop him from disrupting it. Did he tell you? He asked me for money tonight. I changed my mind. Can I go home with you? Yeah, Honey, sure, of course. You cannot leave Holden's memorial with this guy. Be reasonable. Let's go. Honey. I thought you might need this. Thank you. You need a lift or somewhere, something? Um. No, I already have a ride. Anything you need. Anything. You're so much like him. I need to believe that Luke and Holden will come home. And you do that, sweetheart. You do just that. Please tell me where you're going. To bring my husband and my son home. 